iron within iron without from iron comment strength Welcome to Lip Bashing, where the L stands for Legions, the I stands for Imperialis, and the T Bashing stands for Kit Bashing. Today we are taking on the Iron 4th Legion, and how best to show off the awesome bonuses they give in-game to their walkers. Being the only walker currently officially available, a contempt of conversion it is. This started as just an attempt at Iron Warriors of Hying, a Contemptor, but quickly became this approximation of their Battle Automaton, which, if you are able to create a full detachment, I'd love to see because I think that would look absolutely awesome. So what do we need to be readable? Other than the general Contemptorous shape, we need those double jointed knees, a big boarding shield, a long hammer, shoulder mounted bolters, and of course, lots and lots of hazard stripes. For this lip bash, you will need the legs from a sentinel, the contemptor body and fist, as well as a couple of bolters and the spinny auto cannons from a Kratos. Borrow both arms from an Ogryn, the hammer from a Terminator, and the sponson joints from any Astartes tank. Finally, take the front panel from a Lehman Russ. Once we have our bits gathered, it's time to start cleaning them up of any unsightly sprue nubs and mold lines. Then we can glue the contemptor torso together. And that's the first and last element of this that's in any respect by the books. Because next, we're going to stick those spindly chicken legs onto our little robot, posing as you see fit. Make sure the angles are right by standing them up to dry. Chop the drill claw thing away from the Ogryn's left arm and replace with a similarly trimmed away contempt to power fist, again, choosing your favorite angle. On the Ogryn's right arm, Shave away the saw teeth that run parallel to the forearm, as this will give us a nice flat surface to attach our hammer handle to in just a moment. Of course by hammer handle, I mean autocannons. These lovely straight bits make excellent hammer handles at just the right size. At first glance the Terminator hammerhead looks a little small, although it is perfectly in scale with the head, feet and other parts. I suspect this is just a victim of that small scale needing bigger weapons to be red thing. Feel free to experiment with beefing up that hammerhead a bit, but I think this is the best option without resorting to green stuff, and this is a non-green stuff kit bash, so I'm sticking to it. The automaton doesn't need to breathe, so these vents the Contemptor has can be trimmed away, and then we can separate the bolters we borrowed from the Kratos, and then glue them neatly together. To make the most of this open hatch bolt a bit, also trim the round hatch from the rest and use that as the nice round armour panel the automaton has on his back. Perhaps that is his iron circle. <laughs> In the most fiddly, most optional step, trim the semicircular guard plate away from the sponson joint and then use this as the shoulder armour as it's the perfect size to slot over the ogren shoulders to make them look a little bit more mechanical. Glue the arms in your preferred position, and then attach your now dry double bolter to the right shoulder. For his shield, I just so happen to have a perfect option here, except it's a bit big. But the piece which is by far closest in shape but at the perfect scale is the front panel of the Lehman Rust tank. If you don't mind relegating one of your tanks to basing material, shave off anything that looks too much like a door handle, and then attach it at your preferred angle to your mini's left arm. Onto the paint. Over a base coat of lead belcher and a dry brush of runefang steel just to give us some early shiny values, I decided this would be the right time to try that thing the internet says about using pink to base coat yellow. I've never done it before, so tell me if you think it makes any difference, but I covered everywhere that would be yellow with pink horror. I then added some shade with an all over wash of null oil. Whilst this dried, I based the base with steel legion drab and then washed the base with Agrax Earthshade. Once the body was dry, I highlighted the metal plating with Runefang Steel. And then I gave the pink areas a couple of thin coats of Avalon Sunset. Can you see any difference from painting yellow directly over the metal? 
I don't know, your miles may vary. Just to add some variety to the metal, I gave some of the wiring, guns and deepest recesses a little black templar. And then started to work on the hazard stripes, using a bad and black, thinned down with black templar so it would flow nice and neatly but not lose too much of its blackness. After getting all but one of the stripes perfect, spot which one isn't in the final shots, I gave the yellow stripes a highlight of flash kits. Then the eyes and glass work got a base of cabalite green and a highlight of warpstone glow. And finally, any trim and rivets got a layer of Rune Lord brass. The base was finished off with a healthy dry brush of Wraithbone, and then it was ready for the catwalk. Thank you everyone for watching and please do like and subscribe. I do a new lip bash every week, missing weapon options, legion specific units, and of course I'm working through the whole Horus Heresy character series. And there are a lot of them to do, so we should be good for a very long time yet. We also have community roundups, discussions, army showcases, some collabs in the works. It's just a really fun time to be an epic scale focused hobby channel. Our next community roundup is coming on Monday the 29th of January, so please do share your own kit bashes with me on the socials. There's a dedicated Lit Bash Facebook page and subreddit where you can share things with me. I actively seek out everyone and I love to see your work. Thank you to all my Patreons, including the newest member, Outer Rim Droid Repair, who's joined right at the top tier. What a legend. If you'd like to join us all in the super exclusive Patreon chat where you get to tell me what to do, and even occasionally take away a model or two, this model will be posted off to top tier back at Enric as soon as I have enough glamour shots. Please join us. The more support I get, the more bits I can afford, and the more extreme and silly the lit bashes can get. Every penny goes towards improving the channel, and I am so grateful for all the support I've already had so far. Thank you to everyone, you're all wonderful, and keep on lit bashing.